Hey, welcome to this week's episode of Topical English Vocabulary with me, Teacher Tiffany. In this week's episode, I am going to teach you five English vocabulary words related to the topic of work-life balance. Are you ready? Well then, let's jump right in. All right, the very first word we are going to be looking at today, again, related to the topic of work-life balance, is prioritize. Good, again after me, prioritize. Excellent, last time after me, prioritize. Great job. Now, this word prioritize, it literally just means to arrange or deal with in order of importance. Once again, to arrange or deal with in order of importance. So imagine you have tasks that need to be accomplished for the day. You list out your tasks. Maybe you're going to wash your clothes or maybe cook a meal or maybe attend a meeting. You list all of your tasks out. And then you see which one is the most important, which one is the second most important. What you're doing is prioritizing again, arranging or dealing with something in the order of its importance. Most important for first, least important last. All right. Makes sense, right? All right. So let's check out the example sentences. Here we go. The very first example sentence, she learned to prioritize her tasks to meet deadlines at work. You see how we can use it in a work environment as well, right? Sentence number two, prioritizing family time over work commitments helped him achieve a better work life balance. Make sense? Good job. All right. And the third example sentence, it's essential to prioritize your responsibilities for a more organized life. You got it. Excellent. So once again, the word after me is prioritize. Great job. All right. Number one, we have prioritize and number two is after me boundaries. Good. Again, boundaries. Good. Last time after me boundaries. Yes. Excellent. Now, what does this word boundaries actually refer to? What does it mean? It refers to limits that define acceptable behavior and interactions in various contexts. One more time, boundaries refers to limits that define acceptable behavior and interactions in various contexts. Let me break this down for you. You know that I am passionate about helping you learn how to speak English fluently. I'm very passionate also about helping you improve your English vocabulary, right? Now I have a team that works with me, right? I have people on my team that help me actually create content for you. I work hard every day, except Saturdays and Sundays. Saturdays are the days that I go to church. I spend time with my family and I relax. Sundays are the days I take care of personal things and I also relax. So my team knows that, Hey, on Saturday, actually from Friday night sundown to Saturday night sundown, Tiffany is not going to respond to any message at all. This is true. I have set that boundary Friday night to Saturday night. I'm not going to respond. Don't contact me. I won't respond. It's my personal time with God and with family. Now on Sunday I might respond, but they understand only if it's an emergency. Will I respond on Sunday? The weekend is my private time. I've set a boundary again. What are boundaries limits that define acceptable behavior and acceptable interactions makes sense, right? Okay. Let's check out these example sentences. Here we go. 
The very first example sentence, setting clear boundaries at work prevents burnout and stress. Man, this is so true. That's why I don't get burnout. That's why I'm able to teach you with such passion continually. Each week you get a lesson from me, whether it's on YouTube or on Instagram or on the podcast, because I've set boundaries. I know that on the weekend I can take a break. I can relax, but from Monday to Friday, you're going to get 110% effort from me. Why? Once again, setting clear boundaries at work prevents burnout and stress. Look at the second example sentence. She established boundaries between work and personal life to maintain a healthy balance. And finally, sentence number three, understanding personal boundaries is crucial for a harmonious work environment. You got it right. Maybe you need to set some boundaries in your own life. Once again, the second word we have after me is boundaries. Great job. So again, number one, what was number one? Ooh, good job. We had prioritize and number two. Yes. Boundaries. Excellent. Number one, once again, prioritize number two, once again, boundaries. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Now let's move on to number three. Number three after me is flexibility. Good. Again, flexibility. Excellent. Last time after me and watch my mouth closely. If you're watching this on YouTube, flexibility. Great job. Now, what does this term flexibility actually mean? A term that we as native English speakers use very often when we're speaking about work life balance, it just means the ability to adapt and change easily according to circumstances. So let's say you have a plan, but the plan changes. Do you get frazzled? Do you get frustrated or do you roll with the punches? Do you just go with the flow? Are you flexible? If you are, this is an example of flexibility. Once again, the ability to do what adapt and change easily according to circumstances in English, we say flexibility. Very good. All right. Now what I want us to do right now is to look at some example sentences using this word flexibility. All right. So the very first example sentence is having a flexible schedule allows employees to manage their work and personal commitments, having a flexible schedule. Now you'll notice, of course, it's flexible instead of flexibility, but the same root meaning is there. All right. Let's go to number two, flexibility in approach is key to achieving work-life balance in a dynamic environment, flexibility and sentence number three, he appreciated the company's flexibility in allowing remote work. Once again, flexibility. All right. So. We have three words so far that we've learned related to work life balance. What was number one? <laughs> Good memory. Prioritize. What was number two? Boundaries. Excellent. And what was number three? Flexibility. Very good. Very good. Now let's move on to the fourth word. We're looking at the fourth word related to this topic of work life balance. I want you to repeat after me delegation. Good again, delegation. Excellent. Last time after me delegation. Great job. Now, what does this term delegation mean? It just means assigning tasks or responsibilities to others assigning tasks or responsibilities to others. Now, again, you know that I am your English teacher, right? I am passionate about teaching you English. 
I'm also the CEO of my company. So speak English with Tiffany as a company exists to help you achieve your English goals. Now there came a point in time where the number of tasks I was doing on my own began to get a bit overwhelming. So I hired an assistant and I had to master the skills of delegation to give her certain tasks so that I would be able to have enough energy to produce good lessons for you. I had to master as a CEO, the skills of delegation, assigning tasks and responsibilities to others. Make sense. Excellent. All right. Here's the first example sentence. Delegating tasks effectively is essential for balancing workloads. And again, you'll see that it says delegating, right? This is the verb form. Okay. What about the second example sentence? She learned the art of delegation to focus on more strategic aspects of her job. And third, the third sentence is delegation is a valuable skill for efficient time management. Yes. Again, we're talking about delegation. So the fourth word is delegation. Excellent. All right, here we go. What was the first word you learned today? Yes. Prioritize. What was the second word you learned today? Boundaries. Excellent. What was the third word you learned? Flexibility. Great. And the fourth word delegation. Excellent. All right. Now let's move on to the fifth word. The fifth word is productivity. Excellent. Again, productivity. Good. Last time after me. Productivity. Great job. Now, what does this word productivity actually mean? It just means the effectiveness of productive effort, especially in industry as measured in terms of the rate of output per unit of input. In other words, if you're putting in a lot of effort, are you seeing a lot of results? <laughs> That's literally what it means. If I'm working 10 hours, but the results don't look like a 10 hour work day, something's wrong. So productivity is based on the amount of effort put in and the results that come out of that effort. You want it to be greater results coming out of a little effort that shows great productivity. All right. So let's check out some example sentences to help you understand this one. Okay, here we go. Time management is crucial for maintaining high levels of productivity. Time management is crucial for maintaining high levels of productivity, being able to get a lot done in a short amount of time. What about the second example sentence? Implementing efficient workflows can significantly improve overall productivity. And finally, balancing quality and productivity is key to long-term success. I like that sentence. I like to be very productive, but I also like to do quality work. All right. So the fifth word we just had again after me, productivity. Good job. All right. What was the first word that you learned in our lesson today? Prioritize. Excellent. The second word boundaries. Excellent. The third word flexibility. Very good. The fourth word delegation. Excellent. And the fifth word productivity. Excellent. Very good. Now this is what I want to do. I want to read you a paragraph that includes each of the words we just learned each of the words speaking about work life balance. So as you listen to this paragraph, I want you to listen closely for the words you just learned. Here we go. Following along for those watching the video and listening closely for those listening to the podcast. Achieving a good work life balance involves being productive, 
setting clear boundaries and knowing when to delegate tasks. Flexibility in your schedule helps adapt to personal commitments, making life more balanced. Prioritizing tasks ensures important things get done and understanding and respecting boundaries prevent burnout. It's like creating a harmony between work and personal life where you can be efficient at work while also enjoying your personal time without feeling overwhelmed. In that one paragraph, you heard the words that we spoke about today, productive or productivity, boundaries, delegate or delegation, flexibility, and prioritizing. These words will help you speak English fluently and confidently about the topic of work life balance. Now, my friend, I hope you truly enjoyed this episode of topical English vocabulary with me, teacher Tiffany. Remember you can achieve each and every one of your English goals. Keep studying hard. If you want to get my email daily English vocabulary with me totally for free. Don't forget to go to www.dailyenglishvocabulary.com. The words you learned today came from my email that I sent out to thousands of students around the world. And I'd love to send it to you as well. Until next time, remember to speak English. I love you.